chapter nine. Living in a dynasty, man, got everything I want. Family took care of. Ain't hurting from nothing, man. Just got that thought, man. Just tired of these streets, man, because it's wearing me down and it's starting to get real fearful. When I come home at night, man, I got to circle my house two or three times. You know, having a house party, they, niggas know where I stay at now. And like I say, man, I have to circle my house, man. And I'm getting you to real. I circle my house three times, run up, pull up in the driveway, man. I got, I'm, then I'm like, I'm about to go to war. I got, I got two guns in my hand, pull up in my driveway. And I really got tired of that, man. I mean, it started getting war at me. And, and like I said, man, it was like, somebody gonna kill me today. I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna go to jail today. I'm gonna get shot in the back of the head, back, or anything. So I made it home, man, and. Chill, man, drunk me some bottles of jam. You know the wine coolers got me every time, man. So that morning, man, that girl jumped here, blowing my phone up. Hey, you up? I said, yeah. Man, is she going to listen to my, my cousin them tape? I said, man, god damn. I said, man, come on, come on. Because, man, she was getting on my damn nerve about this damn cousin with these damn tape, with this damn tape in the rap group. And, man, you know, I, I got everything I need, man. You know, I got my, man, I'm my own. I ain't need, I ain't need nothing. A lick. If a lick was up, I go, go see what that lick do. So they come by the house, man, and... They let me put their tape in. Down in Houston, we ain't scared of no fucking police. I dropped my 40 cause my hand full of chicken grease. I'm talking shit cause I crack my spoiler. All shit that go to motherfucking all of us. I turn the tickets go faking like I want some gas. They pass by faking like they don't see my ass. Oh shit, D, I'ma start chilling up. Rest of the night, please pass me my cylinder. Five for square because I'm rolling six deep. Two niggas hot, two niggas drunk, get one sleep. Roll down the window, let the breeze come in slow. The car script the ground cause it's packed full of niggas, ho. Here comes the laws, I'm in shit now. Everybody sitting up straight, looking real tall. And if they stop, my name is Bobby Joe Stickin'. Why? Cause I didn't pay my money, it's fucking dick. And uh, one of the s- s- lyrics in the, s- in the song said that uh, down in Houston, we're not scared of the police. I drive my 40 because my hand full of chicken grease. So I know you were talking about either that old English 40 or that Mickey 40. But when he said chicken grease, that's Jimmy Chan. And I just bust out laughing. And I, and I don't think I said was, how could we let everybody hear this? So, and I was saying in my mind, like, this must be my avenue out them streets. Man, let me get into this music. So I went and got me a record label. I mean, you know, the North Side already had this. I went and got me a record label, man, legit. I went and bought the studio, legit. I did everything about the paperwork, legit. And man, I was a real, legit executive producer with no blemishes. I mean, in the studio with these boys, man, doing everything. And them boys that came to my home with that tape, they later called themselves street military. And man, we sitting outside, man, I'm out here with these boys and James drunk as hell. And that boy Pop and Tory pulled up, man. They was high. You know, Smitty was had everybody going to third ward on Rosalie getting that fry. They you know they call it wet now. And man, these boys pull up and ask me could they put my they had a tape. I didn't know it was a rap group, but they asked me could they put that tape in my truck. And I said, Yeah, I ain't tripping. So they put the tape in my truck, man. And man, look at here. The tape playing and it drove. I thought the tr- the tape got tangled in my cassette player. You know, I had an Alp- Alpine system. My whole system like Seventeen, maybe twenty thousand dollars on auto take amp, ten eighteens in my van, break the windshield. Yeah, that's how we. That's how we was doing it. And I ran. I said, "Man, get the tape out my truck. It's getting tangled up in my cassette, man. Get, get, pull it out. Pull it out." And I'm running toward the truck. Ain't nobody else moving, man. And they injected that goddamn cassette out my damn uh, my, my my tape player. And I looked at it, man. Was nothing wrong with that damn tape? And I said, "Man, what the hell that was?" And they say, oh, man, man, that, that, that's that screw. I said, who, that, that's who? They said, that's that screw. Screw. Well, goddamn, this goddamn ass is screwed up. You mean to tell me you crazy-ass niggas high as hell and listen to some goddamn music going slow? Y'all done turned the pitch down on the turntable. And that music was going like double beat. They were going slow as hell. I'm like, how could y'all niggas hear that and play that? Talk about, man, you, man, you, they laughing at me like I'm going crazy. I'm like, you know, I don't get high. I, I you know, I drink the wine cooler. And, man, they jamming this nigga, man. They, man, he going live, man. I'm like, going live? Man, that nigga ass needs to find out what's going on. But, see, they high, and that fry make you go slow and move slow. So now they listen to music slow. 
So one day we was riding, and we, you know, Friday night was Carrington's, and and it, yeah, everybody be talking about Caro, Caro now, yeah. You niggas don't get the pillars no credit. The legends don't get no credit. Carrington was just a pool hall. That's right. Uh, this, uh, that's all. Nigga, when we come through there, we made Carrington, but Carrington, that parking lot li got lit up, not because it was a pool hall, because Smitty, Keith Babin, Anthony Benjamin, Lynn, all these ball-ass niggas, uh, Craig Hicks, was at Carrington. And all of them suffered from a tricking disorder, so them girls knew with them type of niggas inside Carrington's, the damn pool hall was one bigger than goddamn Beverly did. Or smaller. <laughs> but the damn parking, you, you would see the parking lot and you would think two million damn people was in there. But they don't get a legend, no credit. Yeah, we started we started that, that little pool hall. They knock, they start knocking down walls, trying to extend that damn uh, uh, club. I mean, that pool hall, man, it's just too many people. Because it was money in there, man. And guess what I ran into? I was in there one day. I seen that goddamn TV, DJ chill. I said, what's up, Chill? He said, man, no, it's big. What, 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 what you doing? You know, I brought, you know, I brought him his first turntable. You know, he'll tell you when you see it. And they played that goddamn music. I said, oh, I said, Chill. Chill, what's up? What? Look, look, man, put on I'm a hoe or something by Houdini. Or Roxanne, Roxanne, put on something else. He said, man, that's my boy Screw. I said, man, that's the nigga, man, got that music playing slow. I said, Chill, how could y'all listen to how could y'all listen to that? What, what, what is the music saying? He said, man, that's that, man, that's Scooby Jam. Nah, <laughs> she, it's jamming to a nigga that's high. I don't get high. I can't even, I can't listen to that. Hey, I thought the tape was jammed in my tape player. But uh, I respect this hustle though, man. You know, I like his style. But I want to tell you about South Park, Texas, man. This is how it was going on back then. The street was flowing with milk and honey. Money was everywhere, man. I was a known dope dealer, kingpin. The federal government had to come look, had to come look at me. Hard to touch. I thought I was untouchable. But look at here, man. I gave back to the to the community. I gave back to the people. I really was trying to get out them streets, man. And for you to get out them streets, you got to lose the streets. I know everybody say, man, hey, man, I'm in it to win it. Yeah. But to win it, and you know what it is, you got to lose it to win it. And there's no winner in it. Because the streets don't get you so close to them, so caught up to them, and it's hard for you to break away from them. You're going to be locked to them because you're overhead. I really got a record label, doing good by the record company. And man, really, wanted to really pursue the entertainment world and really be a known executive producer, man. But what I had, but that morning came, same old thoughts. Hey, is this the day I'm going to get my head blown off? Is this the day Barbara going to be crying? Is this the day the feds going to come out of the, of the state of Texas again? Dude, they came about four or five times. Is this that day? Is this that day? I kept saying it. Is this that day? Is this that day? And God damn it, man, that day came. And remember I told you I'm arguing with street military. My mind ain't clear. I argued with the people from Sony wanted to meet them and, and send them to speech service and groom them up because they wanted to put them on, on, on talk shows and everything. They was really, we, I really had, had it set up with, 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 with a, uh, a rocket deal. And, man, arguing with these damn niggas, man, a nigga bring an undercover a federal agent to me. And like I said, Roger said something long, one time, long time ago, he said, these streets so cold, the dog eat dog world, you can make $100,000 the day and be broke in the morning. When the feds it, man, they gonna attack all your strength, your bank accounts, your mama house, your house, everything that you've been to for strength, they gonna weaken you, they gonna leave you strengthless, and this is how they beat a lot of their cases. This is my story, man. I did rise in the dope world. I fell in the dope world. I was trying to come from a caterpillar to a butterfly, but for that butterfly to live, that caterpillar got to die. I had to resurrect after I died. I died when the feds came and arrested me and gave me 27 years for a conspiracy to possess a controlled substance. Yo, we're here. That day came, man, and the feds locked down everything. ATF went at the guns. I got high. The RS high. was on standby for money laundering. Front doors open. The DEA came full it, breach on drugs. <laughs> they hit three houses, Police Department. and they started Police seizing Department. and taking everything, man. Oh, Just hey, like that. Bun at the bun at the bun at the bun. They no bun me. I'm sitting in federal court after I was arrested. All rise for the honorable judge I had a man Marshall walk in there Stevens. with close to two million dollars in cash and assets. 
the judge turned to me as he looked the bonded man in his eyes. He said, I believe Mr. Babin is not a flight risk, but Mr. Babin is associated with a group that have crippled, wounded our communities. He is part of an organization that feel that you can weaken and tear down a family for your own fulfillment of your appetites. He sells a hideous drug to our community. He is a menace to society. Mr. Babin, at this time, your bond motion is denied. And please, Mr. Babbins, turn over to the U.S. Marshals. Please escort him into federal custody. And it happened just like that, man. Them people no bun me. You might say, hey, a dude blowed a dude's head off last night and got a $20,000 bun. He violent, and the non-violent people don't get no bun. I'm getting it to you the real, man. And I'm talking about real talk. I'm from the streets, raised from the streets, lived the streets, became the streets. And the streets turned their back on me as I was told. A long time in prison, or a lot of black ties and black suits. This is my story, man. I could ne have never became a butterfly unless I had died as a caterpillar. I resurrected in federal, in federal prison. I did get it how I live, how I was living. That's how I got it. I was in it to win it, but I had to lose it to win it. And guess what? I did go get it, 